2018 goals, everything. Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Happy New Year! <laughs> Even though I'm coming on to talk about last year, I'm coming on to talk about my best products of 2017. But I always enjoy letting you guys know which ones are my favorites of the year. Just to give you a shortcut into the best of the best, at least for me and my hair. So I hope this green t-shirt is translating well and nobody does a green screen on me. <laughs> Don't do it. So let's get to the video. I'm gonna go in order, like I usually do I guess, shampoos, deep conditioners, leave-ins, creams, gels, and specialty, and just let you know. So I'm going to mention my, what I love this year that I tried, my new favorites, as well as my HGs. I'll just kind of give a special mention to them because I can't forget about them. I don't want you to forget about them either. So let's get started. Best of the year, shampoo, no other, definitely. The Baskin Bloom Herbal Gentle Cleanser. So you saw the demo, you saw the full review. But this felt like a co-wash except it was super cleansing. My hair was so soft, so moisturized, the slip was great, curls were popping, very gentle. Now stripping it all, it was actually moisturizing. It was almost like I used a conditioner. So I just have all the love for this cleanser. Definitely the best of 2017 in terms of shampoos. Special mentions, of course, the Blue Rose Coco Rose Creamy Shampoo and the Curls Curl Activating Shampoo. So as you can see, both of these are near finished. They're definitely well loved and I, I don't even know for sure if I will repurchase this but this is really great right now as a clarifying shampoo because it really clarifies my hair without leaving it too stripped and this I love as a moisturizing shampoo although it does a really good job of cleansing too it's just on that border between moisturizing and cleansing so when this is done and this is done I will need a new clarifying shampoo I have more of these but I haven't repurchased this one so this one I got at Whole Foods, so we'll just see what happens. But my slot for like a clarifying shampoo is empty, and I have that new Sultanical shampoo which may end up there, or I might just go back to some of the old shampoos that I have that are definitely more clarifying and use them for that purpose. Um, but this one I want to keep in the moisturizing pile because it is moisturizing, and this one I want to try some other things and get back to it, even though I loved it. Best of 2017, definitely the Baskin Bloom, with special mention to these. So next, co-washes. I don't think I tried any co-washes this year, as crazy as that is, did I? Oh, I did try one, but it didn't, wasn't, didn't make it. <laughs> so we're still here with this Camille Rose Caramel Co-Wash as my HD co-wash. And if you haven't tried it and you want to know why, definitely try it. My hair is clean, my curls are defined, lots of slip, lots of moisture. This is like the only co-wash that is perfectly cleansing and perfectly conditioning. Like, if you had to do a one-step wash day, this is what I would use. Like, this, this is the truth right here. So special mentions for co-washes, of course, the She Scented Blueberry Co-Wash Conditioner. So you know I've been using this as my staple co-wash for the last year or so and I love it. Moving right along to deep conditioners, of course, Y'all know again, Baskin Bloom is it again. This one was my HG conditioner of the year, which is the Brammy Root Hair Mask. So to be fair, I used this Baskin Bloom Brammy Root Hair Mask after using the Baskin Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser. So it could just be that that one was so great that this was really great, but this was really great. And I have had other subbies who saw my video and bought it and loved it tell me the same thing. So I know it's the truth that this was just everything, everything. My hair was so moisturized. Even after I rinsed it, I had slip. It really did the job of hydrating and moisturizing my hair and it had great slip. And my hair stayed moisturized and hydrated and had slip to it even after rinsing, which was kind of amazing to me. So next in the best of 2017 deep conditioners is this Curl Origin Maracuva Deep Recovery Conditioner. So I haven't done the review yet, so I guess I can give you a peek at the ingredients. Basically, it was just super hydrating but still also rich and creamy and moisturizing. So as a low porosity girl for me, sometimes you almost feel like you have to choose between hydrating and rich and creamy, but this one is both. So all the moisture penetrated my hair, but my hair was still soft and it just felt really creamy going on. It reminds me of the C7 Rich Moisture Mask, which is my other HG deep conditioner, but it's a little bit richer and creamier. I got this in my Black Friday haul, so it's a bit of a cheat, a bit of a sneak peek. This should have been a 2018 use, but 
I was curious and I just couldn't wait so I tried it and I loved it. I probably should test them again after shampooing because the Baskin Bloom I used it after the Baskin Bloom shampoo which I said is already moisturizing and the Curl Recovery I didn't shampoo before I used it so I should probably do another test of those but and I will I will do another test of those and update you guys I want to say for my winter stash flashback I want to probably update you guys then but so far I love them just for full disclosure just for full disclosure let me guys know I love the Sultanical Strand Repair Recovery Mask it was good going on but after I steamed with it my hair felt really hydrated like it really absorbed it so yay for that so it is a recovery mask so I guess it should be in protein treatments but really it's more I liked it as a deep conditioner so I think I would request it to use as a deep conditioner when I want a little protein in my life so that's definitely in here as well for deep conditioners best of 2017 these plus, <laughs> these plus that one <laughs> Of course, special mentions go to my existing HGs, the She Scented Rich Moisture Mask, which I just mentioned, and the Sultanicals Afrotastical Elastic. I didn't try a lot of rinse conditioners because you know I don't really use rinse conditioners, expensive fancy ones a whole lot. But I did love the She Scented Papaya Conditioner. I used it as a leave-in in this video. <laughs> and my hair was just super defined and moisturized and hydrated, so that one is definitely a win. And I would be interested in repurchasing that one, so... Best of 2017 conditioner has to go to that she scented papaya conditioner. Best leave-ins of 2017. This one I have to slow down for real because I got four. I find like 2017 was the year of the leave-in. I don't know if that's like a Chinese symbol but 2017 was the year of the leave-in because I had so many great ones. The first one that I tried that I love was the Jane Carter and Tango Me leave-in. So you know unicorns and rainbows unicorns and rainbows let me just put it that way my hair was really moisturized it was again rich and creamy so i have been using a lot of light leave-ins like blue rose and she sent it all of my best of 2017 new hd leave-ins are rich and creamy made me realize that i do love the feel of rich and creamy leave-ins they're just usually not hydrating enough and don't penetrate enough so i finally found some that do penetrate so yeah this year was happy so i think i'm still gonna use my lighter ones especially in the summer and stuff but i love having the option as well of a nice rich creamy relieving for when you just want your strands to get a nice hug so this was the first one hydrating rich and creamy as well as it had a light hold and clump my curls so this was almost like a styler in fact i did use it by itself um, for a one product wash and go which is coming up soon so that's just to tell you how moisturizing and how defining this leave-in is so definitely up there I will probably have to do some follow-ups to figure out which ones I like best or like some side by sides but I can't tell you right now all I can tell you is when I use each of these I love them and this was the first one so the next one that I tried and I loved was the Sultanicals Frizzwiz leave-in and it was basically the same thing hydrating light hole define your curls and i can't wait to try this by itself this will definitely be my winter stash flashback and you guys will be hearing more about this next up i got both of these during black friday actually so i cheated a lot <laughs> but both of these were great and it's the maracuja rich moisture hair milk as well as the tgin green tea super moist leave-in i need to be more descriptive but what is more descriptive than hydrating and moisturizing you know it did the thing i think that's the main thing so the first two i talked about had a light hold i wouldn't necessarily say that these had any hold to them but they were definitely hydrating moisturizing and did define my curls let me show you the ingredients since i haven't done the reviews on these yet just good stuff good stuff no glycerin Great for winter, really moisturizing. None of these go water than aloe vera juice, which I used to think was just a safe bet for being moisturizing. This one does water and then a bunch of herbs and then oils. And this one does water then BTMS. But I think the honey and these are the truth. So best of 2017 leave-ins, curl origin, maracuja hair milk, TGIN green tea super moist leave-in, which I have been using as you can see, <laughs> really. Hitting this spot. So Tanikel's Frizzwiz Curl Defining Leave-In as well as the Jane Carter Untangle Me Weightless Leave-In. And I still have to give a little shout out to my old HGs because I want you guys to hear them, hear about them, hear their names as well. So special mention to the She Scented Cocoa Cream Leave-In, the She Scented Cranberry Cocktail Leave-In, the Blue Rose Cocoa Rose Leave-In, and the Bakura 
honey latte hair milk. Those are my other HGs that I've been using before 2017, but I still love where we purchase and they're they in my life. They're in my life to stay. At least for now. I didn't try a lot of hair creams, I guess, this year. Curls and Pushdowns Curling Jelly, best of 2017. It says curling jelly, but it is a cream. <laughs> so this one just really did a great job in terms of plumping and defining my curls. And I think it does have a soft hold as well. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And I have a Curls and Pushdowns video number two coming up and I'll be trying this as my styler for that video. Special mention to the Jane Carter Curly Finding Cream which is another kind of hair cream or butter that I really love and I really find very moisturizing and also defines your curls. The Jane Carter Curly Finding Cream could probably even be a bit more moisturizing and just as defining but this one possibly has more hold. I don't think the aloe with butter gel gives me much definition but that Jane Carter Curly Finding Cream definitely gives me a lot of definition. So I don't usually have a cream gel section but this right here by itself made me decide to give y'all a cream gel section because this is a cream but it has a super defined your curls it's super light so your hair is like rising to the sky as much as it could anyway because my hair is kind of fluffy naturally but it's super light doesn't wear your hair down at all gives you like airy hair and it actually has a strong hole like this gave me cast this gave me crunch so crunch is not really my thing but just because of how light it made my hair, I want to repurchase this and see if I can figure out a way to avoid the crunch. It was that interesting. So this comes in in my Mind Blown for 2017 segment. But I don't know if that would be a permanent segment, but it's a segment for this year just because your hair is like defined, light and airy, and has a strong hold. This sounds like perfection, right? If it wasn't for the cast, I would be going crazy right now. I would be... But because of the cast, you know, it's kind of in my special mentions, but not really in my HGs. But I will repurchase it at least once to try to figure it out. And since I did that cream gel, I had to give a special mention to the Blue Rose Marshmallow Root Cream Gel. I haven't used it in a while, but I just remember when I did use it, it really defined my curls and really clumped my curls and plumped my curls. So I want to try this again. I won't be able to until March probably. Yeah, I probably won't be able to until March, but... Definitely look out for a video coming up next spring about Blue Rose Beauty and this marshmallow cream gel will be included. The gels that were the best of 2017, I don't have one, I finished it, which is the Baskin Bloom Twirly Hair Gel. I guess I'll stick a picture in. <laughs> but I have the other two, which is the Caraveda Pure HG High Definition Gel and the Jane Carter Curls to Go Coiling Wall Curls Gel. All of them give me moisturized hair, defined hair, just awesome hair. So all three were like perfect on that score. The Baskin Bloom gave me like a more natural definition, whereas the Jane Carter gave me like super clump definition and the Caravela gave me like elongation. The Baskin Bloom was super moisturizing and this was super moisturizing. So I don't know what your favorite thing is, but I loved all three of them. Special mention gels, of course, the Kinky Curly Curling Custom, which I haven't used again in a long time. This one is also coming up, maybe in March as well, I will do a wash and go with this one and let you guys know. Because it's just been too long, but I do remember that my hair was moisturized and defined with this gel. And of course the Camille Rose Curl Maker. So what I love about this is that it just gives you the softest hair in the world ever. I think like all the Camille Rose products just give me the softest hair in the world ever. So that's why this is a, in a class by itself, that's why it always has to be there in any HD talk. So it does give me like a more natural curl, like not as clump and defined as say the Jane Carter, but my hair is so soft and so moisturized. It's like a whole other head of hair. It's like, oh my gosh, you know? So this will forever be here. This, this ain't going anywhere. I do love the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic as well, but the Camille Rose does things for me that the others can't. None of the others, even the new ones, as much as they, I love them, they don't, I mean, they, they do leave my hair soft and moisturized, but not out of this world, crazy soft and moisturized. Only Camille Rose does that for me with all of her products, so, yeah. That was it in terms of best of 2017, actually, but to kind of finish my HD list, I want to just mention this one, even though it's not from this year, it's a special mention as my HD tea treatment product not DIY the blue rose chai hair tea my detangler although I really don't use detanglers anymore it's this kinky curly nut today 
If I needed any tangler, this is still what I would reach for. It still has great slip and is amazing to me. So I might actually try to slip and slide and approve here glide instead of this. Eventually, when this is finished, which will never happen since I don't use it. But for now, this is me. And like I said in March, I do want to do a kinky curly wash day. So this will definitely, of course, feature in there. So based on how it is as a leave-in, I will probably either finish it off as a leave-in or I guess it will languish for a long time as a detangler. Because these days, I just kind of take my time and just use conditioner and I haven't really had to reach for this in a long time since I kind of figured out how to detangle, I guess. My hair doesn't really get nutty naturally. The most it used to get nutty is because I'm just detangling rough and crazy and fast and creating, causing my own problems. So since I figured out how to not do that, this is where this is. I really haven't reached for this. For all of 2017, this is how much I've used. Of course, my sprays, you guys know. So this Sotanicals Hair Sorrel, I love because it's like super moisturizing. I also like the Jane Carter Revitalizing Spray because it controls frizz. The Kills Lavish Moisture Leave-In Spray, which I also find very hydrating, but I think has a lot of glycerin. So I use it. I just don't use it in the winter. So that's it. The absolute best of the best of... All the products that I used in 2017, all the many products that I used in 2017. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was definitely helpful and you have some tips and leads as to some great products to try. Definitely try some of these and let me know what you think. If you've tried them, of course, let me know what you think in the comments. Let's chat 2017 and what were your favorite products for the year. And again, Happy New Year and I hope you all have a great 2018. See you in the next one. Bye.